Will Jesus, I can make it. Will Him alone I can stand. No matter what may come my way, my life is in Your hands. Viewers over the world, good afternoon. Our simple topic today, no situation so permanent that it cannot change. With the faith in your hand, in your heart, in your life, all things are possible to those who believe. Let's move quickly to Mark 10 and see what the Lord Jesus says. Mark 10, 26, 27. And they were greatly astonished, saying among themselves, Who then can be saved? But Jesus looked at them and said, With the men it is impossible, but not with God. For with God all things are possible. Have faith in God where things are possible. Possible. And I want to teach you something simple in this life. No victory without competition. Whenever you ask for victory, the situation will send a competitor. It is so sad that you don't want to hear this message. But you cannot claim victory without a competitor. This is the issue. Whenever you want a promotion, You must have an opposer and you a proposer. So this is the situation. You should learn now to say no and yes where these two things belong. If it is the situation of poverty, you must learn something. If you have faith in Christ Jesus, and the scriptures say all things are possible to those who believe in Jesus, God. Begin to move and say yes. 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 Prosperity is possible. Yes. 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 Prosperity is possible. Somebody in the race will listen to the word of the race. Get on your marks. This is what the Bible says. Get set. If the word says go, with all your speed go, you cannot remain sitting and say I win the race. To God be the glory. Now, if you're a believer, there must be a situation which you should go against. And as you're going, also there must be competitors. Either poverty is ahead of you, running ahead of you, covering you, or you are ahead of it. Where are you? Get on your marks. Get set. Competing with poverty. 
If you are sick today, learn to say what the Bible says. All things are possible to those who believe in healing that Christ Jesus is the healer. Learn to say no to the pain and to say yes to healing. Be healed in Jesus' name. I take it that in my portion. Now when pain bombard you, because you have already taken healing, you use this healing against this Pain. Against this sickness. Use the word healing against pain on your body or on the situation. If you are sick, pick the scripture which defines. Healing. By his stripes, we are healed. By his stripes, my stomach is healed. By his stripes, my chest is healed. Whose stripes? Christ Jesus. Learn to say no. To the sickness, even if it is so stiff. The more no 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 no, the more you stop it. The more yes 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 to healing. The more you be healed. The more you persist. With the faith that you are going to prosper, it is as if you are prosper, 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 prosper. You are moving ahead. Let's say prosperity is on that television. Uh -huh. Prosper, 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 prosper. Prosper, prosper, until when you reach. Don't stop your prayer until when you are there. If the man of God stretches his hand, be healed in Jesus' name. Multiply those words maybe hundred times. By his stripes, my stomach is healed. 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 Go around your bedroom, around your sitting room, by his stripes, by his my legs are healed. Don't you still feel the pain? Multiply the word the man of God taught you. By his stripes, my legs are healed. By his stripes, my legs are healed. By his stripes, my legs. Until when that healing will enter that leg. Whenever you are saying, by his stripes, I'm healed. By his stripes, I'm healed. That healing will begin now to move, move towards you. Is as if you are moving, you are moving, you are moving near that healing. God will never do anything without his word. Mention his word. Multiply it. That is how faith works. Forget the pain and look at the healing. And by his we are healed. 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 
53, verse 4. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. You can be having a back problem. And now you are seated somewhere. You cannot even rise up. I'm teaching you something which works for you. Now let's say I'm you. You have a back problem. Pastor say, by his stripes, we are healed. Now begin to say, trust Jesus by your stripes, I'm healed. 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 By your stripes, multiply that word many times. Yes, after that, all of a sudden, try what you have believed. By his stripes, I am healed. Stand up there and then begin to walk. You are free. But you may now pray. By his stripes, I'm here. By his stripes. But you don't try to rise up. That is opposing what you have believed. The moment you finish, maybe 10 times or 12 times or how many times, that moment, rise up there and there. You see that the pain you have been feeling, it has gone. No situation is so permanent that it cannot change. Because faith is the driving force. Allowing the power of God to work in your body, in your life, on your situation. So if you have faith, it means you have opened up the door. You have allowed God to work upon your situation. You have allowed God to work in your life. That is faith. You have trusted that is able. And you have given him an invitation. Let's now give Jesus an invitation. Knowing that he is able. Because the woman had faith. Immediately, with her words, invited the real Jesus that is healing into her life. Because the woman said, if I only touch his garment, whose garment, by his stripes, we are healed. Whose garment, by his stripes, we are healed. Whose garment, by his stripes, we are saved. Whose garment, by his stripes, we prosper, we are blessed. Whose garment, to God be the glory. I'm happy for you. Whose garment. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm reading Mark 5. Listen. Verse 25. 525 Mark. Now a certain woman had a flow of blood for 12 years. This are 12 years. How many are your years? No situation is so permanent. That it cannot change. With the faith, all things are possible. 
and they had suffered many things from many physicians. She had spent all that she had and was no better, but rather grew worse for 12 years. She had suffered for 12 years. Your situation will remain unchanged. So stubborn until when you believe and allow God's power to work in your life. Believe a change. Believe him by whose stripes that we are healed. Let's continue. When she heard about Jesus, she came behind him in the crowd and touched his garment. For she said, if only I may touch his clothes, I shall be made well. Immediately the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of the affliction. You only need to know what to do this time. Allowing yourself to grow an attitude of faith and stop the suffering of the 12 years. It was only faith because Jesus didn't hear what the woman was saying. But faith, the woman had. Eh? Jesus said, Who touched my gum? The woman knew the intention why. She touched Jesus' garment. Her faith forced the power of God to come and attend to her situation. You don't need Jesus to look at you. Jesus will know you by your faith. He may be looking at so many people. But knowing this or that somebody standing there but has no faith. Somebody standing near me somebody is praying so, what will cause Jesus to know your intentions? Your faith. Let your faith grow. Decide today to be healed. Decide today to be saved. Decide today to come out of darkness. Decide today to come out of poverty. Decide today to come out of that problem.